The successful launch of Mission Divyastra by Prime Minister Narendra Modi is an important milestone in India's nuclear capability. This is the first flight test of an indigenously developed 5,000 km range Agni 5 nuclear missile equipped with the multiple independently targetable re entry vehicle MIRV technology. But the Agni 5's first trail was conducted way back in 2012, and MIRV technology is 60 years old. Why is there so much buzz around it now? But before we do so, let's briefly understand how a ballistic missile works. An Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, is essentially a long-range missile that can deliver a payload, such as a nuclear warhead, over distances of thousands of kilometers, typically from one continent to another. After launch, the ICBM propels itself outside Earth's atmosphere and into space. It then follows a ballistic trajectory, entering the atmosphere again to reach its predetermined target. The path is primarily influenced by gravitational forces, hence the term ballistic. For example, a firework is lit at the ground and soars high into the sky before it explodes. A ballistic missile is launched from the ground, sea, or air towards the sky, but instead of just sparkling lights, it can carry a payload, which could be a conventional explosive or even a nuclear warhead intended for a specific target. Before we look into Mirror of Technology, make sure to subscribe to add value to your life. You can also tip us via this UPI QR. So, what is MIRV? Standing for multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, it is a sophisticated missile deployment mechanism that allows a single ballistic missile to carry and deploy several nuclear warheads, each capable of striking different designated targets. After the missile is launched and reaches a certain point in its trajectory outside the Earth's atmosphere, it releases these individual warheads. Each warhead, encased in its own re-entry vehicle, can be guided to a separate target, allowing for a wide area to be covered or multiple strategic targets to be engaged simultaneously from a single launch. This capability significantly increases the effectiveness of the missile as a deterrent complicating enemy defense systems due to the multiple simultaneous incoming threats. So now, Agni-5, a long-range ballistic missile with a range of over 5,000 kilometers, capable of reaching targets across most of Asia and parts of Africa and Europe, has MIRV technology built into its system, which is a quantum leap in India's strategic deterrence capabilities. The latest test named Mission Divyastra underscored India's commitment to advancing its indigenous missile technology. The successful deployment and tracking of multiple re-entry vehicles during the test were monitored by various telemetry and radar stations, attesting to the mission's accomplishment of its designed parameters. And since private Indian players are also entering the market of rocket launch in near future, we can see the dawn of private missile manufacturers. Haven't heard of them. Strange. I have made a video on each of them. For now, you can start with the biggest of them, the Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited, by clicking on this video. You may see them in defense manufacturer list soon enough. 